we'll be creating a program that downloads Instagram profile pictures in this video. Before we start, make sure you have Python installed and please like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, the first step is to download this library called Instaloader. So on Mac, open Terminal or in your Windows search bar, type CMD and press Enter to open Command Prompt. In your Command Prompt or Terminal, type PIP install Instaloader. Press Enter and wait for the installation to complete. Once it's completed, we can close this window and right here, I'll right click and create a new folder and call it Instagram Downloader. I'll then open this empty folder, right click once again and create a new text file. Make sure you have file extensions enabled, otherwise you won't be able to see this .txt at the end of this file. We now need to rename this to something like Instagram Downloader.py. Make sure to add this .py at the end so that your computer knows this is a Python file. We now need to open this so you can use a text editor if you want, but I'll be using Python's built-in IDE by right clicking this Python file and then here where it says edit with IDLE, choose Python. Since I have multiple versions of Python, I'll just be using 3.7. After that's opened, we need to import the Instaloader object by typing from Instaloader, import Instaloader. The second one is with a capital I. We then type username equals input and in quotations, enter Instagram username. This will store the Instagram username of the user whose profile picture we want to download. Right underneath all that, type Instaloader.download profile, pass username as the first argument, and then we need to pass a Boolean value of true to a specific parameter called profile pick only because we're only interested in downloading the profile picture. This is actually all the code so you can see that it's really simple. To run the program we click on run here and then run module. In here I'll just type something like PewDiePie and then once we hit enter and wait a short while we should see that back in our folder containing the Python script we now have a new folder called PewDiePie and when we open it we see that there's a JPEG file that when opened <laughs> shows us we have successfully downloaded PewDiePie's profile picture. With that said please remember to like the video and subscribe and also check out my other social medias to receive updates on all the projects I'm currently working on. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.